Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Xero with WooCommerce. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at xero.com or log in to our existing account. As you can see at our dashboard or workspace, uh, there, is no, uh, there is no option for making this integration work straight through Xero, but we are going to need help of a third party app. Uh, let's try automate.io and Zapier. Automate.io, uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video, but it's a website that providing us with very useful tools for integrations. So let's go to the integrations on the top corner of our screen and slide down to the bottom left part and see all categories. Once we are here, uh, we should uh, start looking for the first app that we want to integrate, which is Xero. Now we have to pick the counterpart, which will be WooCommerce, like this. Uh, already automate.io is providing us uh, with some uh, popular integrations, but if you won't be able to find the, uh, the integration that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, underneath the triggers, left side, you should go with, uh, with Xero first, even though WooCommerce is suggested, but it's, uh, yeah, let's go with Xero. And I'm going to stick to the, to the first options, but feel free to pick the one that you need. And the, on the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with WooCommerce, like that. The last thing you have to do is just to click on try it now button and you'll get redirected to the automate.io website and after you log in you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. At zapier.com we also need to create ourselves an account. Once we do that let's go to the top left corner and create a zap. It works basically uh, very very similar to automate so we are also need to start with the trigger or trigger app which will be obviously zero now we have to pick a trigger event so stick to the first one we hit continue now we have to log in with our xero account continue organization will be mstone same as at our workspace and value our status value let's go with all continue and now we can test our trigger if it works between xero and uh, zapier the second action is uh, probably as you thought woocommerce action event create order in this case continue and the last thing we have to sign in to WooCommerce and that's other way how we can make this integration work. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.